Hello everyone, this is Mr. Brain Junkie here, and today we'll be talking about a science fiction film called Snake Disaster. Be ready for some spoilers ahead. Somewhere inside a remote forest, a group of soldiers are traveling on the lake as they are led by the natives from the lands. Very soon, numerous snakes have been attracted towards their location, while a soldier sees this and immediately kills the animal without any mercy, but the natives beg them to stop this right away. However, everything is already too late as countless serpents begin swimming towards the people from inside the water while surrounding them from all sides. This forces the humans to attack the reptiles immediately as they try to knock off the animals from their boats. Surprisingly, the soldiers eventually manage to repel all the serpents away from their vessels, but the natives continue to pray as they know that the danger is still here. Very soon, a gigantic shadow rushes towards them from inside the water, while a massive serpent launches out and flipping over their boats in a single strike as all the soldiers are sent inside the water. The people panic desperately in fear, while the giant monster begins eating the victims like giant dumplings while creating huge waves in the process. This causes the soldiers to quickly swim towards the other boat, as the monster continues killing the humans by devouring them alive before crashing back inside the water. The soldiers seize this and begin shooting furiously towards the massive creature by using their guns, but the bullets are not very effective, which forces the people to abandon their boat while rushing desperately towards land, as the monster continues killing the victims who are left behind. The humans eventually manage to make it away from the lake, and decides to hide behind the rocks, while the giant monster quickly appears as it begins searching for the soldiers like preys. Luckily, the giant snake was unable to track down the humans for now, which allows the people to continue their escape as they venture deeper inside the forest while trying to avoid the massive serpent. Very soon, the soldiers manage to arrive inside the dense jungle while thinking that they have lost the vicious enemy, not realizing that the animal is secretly tracking down the people from above. Suddenly, the captain hears a loud roar from behind, which quickly makes the humans run the opposite way, as they eventually make it towards a clearing and is forced to defend themselves from the hidden enemy. Before the people can figure out what to do next, a man begins to notice sticky liquids dropping on his face, while the serpent launches down from above and devouring the human in a single bite. This forces the soldiers to fire their guns immediately towards the giant creature, but they are unable to do any damages at all. The massive serpent eventually appears in front of the people and charges towards them furiously, while the captain tries to retaliate by cutting the monster from the side. However, this barely affects the giant snake, as it knocks the people away using tremendous force, before devouring the humans inside its jaws. The captain sees this and orders the soldiers to continue firing towards the massive enemy, but the serpent is way too powerful, as it throws the humans away like nothing but insects. Realizing that they are about to all die, the lieutenant decides to lure the enemy away from the others, but the captain captain decides to quickly chase after them as well, as the soldiers continue sprinting down the hills while the massive serpent is chasing furiously from behind. Luckily, the lieutenant eventually manages to trap the giant snake between the tree trunks, which stuns the creature temporarily and allowing the humans to fire directly towards the monster's face. The captain eventually arrives as well and throws his grenade before being knocked away by the creature's tail, while the bomb causes a huge explosion in the process. However, before the soldiers can get up, they quickly realize that the massive serpent is somehow still alive, as it roars furiously towards the tiny humans. 25 years later, it's eventually revealed that the lieutenant has survived the horrific incident, while two journalists Q and his girlfriend Tong have secretly arrived towards the man's camp. The people carefully approaches the soldier, but is quickly attacked by the lieutenant, who only regains his sanity after being shown the captain's necklace. It's quickly revealed that Tong is actually the captain's daughter, who has been looking for her father for many years, but the soldier tells the people that he was the only survivor. It turns out that when the lieutenant lieutenant was about to be killed by the giant serpent, a young girl appeared in front of the man while playing her flute and repelling the monster away from the soldier as he quickly falls unconscious. When the lieutenant finally wakes up, he is shocked to see that the girl's family is living with the massive creature in harmony, while the older sister gives the man a map before allowing the soldier to leave in peace and eventually escaping the dangerous lands. The lieutenant quickly gives the map to the woman, hoping that it can help the main character as she heads towards the 
forest alongside her friends while being accompanied by a photographer called David and two mercenaries named Tiny and Gina. However, before the people can make it towards their destination, they are quickly hit by something from inside the river, which shakes their boat continuously. The operator sees this and decides that they cannot continue any further, which gives the people no other choice but to venture forwards on top of the wooden rafts and being completely exposed to the elements. Very soon, the group quickly realize that something is wrong as they see numerous serpents heading their way while completely surrounding their boat, but Q notices that the snakes are not poisonous and tells the people to refrain from attacking the animals. Surprisingly, the serpents eventually begin retreating away from the humans and allowing the people to continue their journey forwards. This allows the team to finally make it onto the lands as they head closer towards the villages, not realizing that a mysterious person is secretly watching them from inside the bushes and following them from behind. Very soon, the people manage to eventually exit the forest as they arrive towards a mysterious house that's being occupied by a beautiful woman called Nancy and her sister Sally, who quickly turns all the weak-minded men into nothing but simps. The woman welcomes the people to her home while telling her servant Bang to bring the travelers inside her house and offer the guests a place to rest for the night. However, the team can't help but feel that something is wrong as the servant appears to be not friendly at all. It's quickly revealed that Nancy has been hiding her motives this whole time and she secretly orders the villagers to kill all the travelers as the woman harbors a nasty hatred for the outsiders who she blames for her father's death. The next morning, the people eventually wakes up and decides to venture out once again so they can find the mysterious serpents, not realizing that Nancy has laid a deadly trap for the people. However, Sally thinks that killing the travelers is wrong but the woman fails to change her sister's mind at all. Very soon, the group arrives towards the forest and sees numerous men standing alongside the trees as if they are waiting for something terrible to happen. The people eventually runs into a farmer and tries to figure out what's going on, while the old man only tells them to leave immediately. This makes the team realize that they're in terrible danger as they begin heading back right away while being followed by a mysterious hooded person. Before the group can make it out from the forest, the people begin feeling that something is wrong as numerous sleeping darts are fired towards the bodyguards. Luckily, they are quickly able to find the assassins and begins fighting them furiously while easily knocking out the enemies onto the ground, but soon falls unconscious from the anesthetics inside the darts. The people sees this and quickly rushes to help their friends, but is only surrounded by even more enemies who have no intentions of letting them go. Just before the people are about to be killed, they are quickly rescued by a mysterious figure from behind as all the enemies begin charging towards the men as well. Surprisingly, the person appears to be a combat expert as he easily defends the attacks while knocking out the enemies at the same time. This forces the attacker to grab onto a journalist as hostage while the mysterious man approaches closer towards the enemy, but their fight is quickly interrupted as a giant serpent launches out from underground. The people are stunned in fear as the massive animal approaches closer towards the hooded man before knocking him away using tremendous force and causing the assassin to run away as well. The monster roars furiously towards the humans and eventually turns the attention towards the journalists as it completely surrounds the people by using its body while preparing to make the kill. Luckily, the hooded man manages to recover and sees that the people are in trouble as he quickly takes the weapons from the bodyguard before shooting directly at the giant snake. This causes the monster to chase immediately after him instead while saving all the others as well. Very soon, the hooded man is able to lure the animal deeper inside the forest as they begin running down the mountain, which gives the man a chance to throw his grenade and blowing up the monster's head in the process while he barely escapes the massive shockwave. Sometimes later, the journalists were able to return back to their hideout, while Sally tells the people that they should leave as soon as possible, but Tom refuses to go back without finding her father first. What the people don't realize is that Nancy is already scheming about her second plan while punishing the only assassin who survived as Bang carries the man towards the outskirts before throwing him over and causing him to roll down the hills. When the assassin eventually regains consciousness, he quickly realized that he's in serious trouble as the giant serpent is here to end his miserable life. At the same time, the group's photographer David has decided to take a bath inside the pool, but what he didn't realize was that Nancy is here as well. The girl quickly begins taking off all her clothing before going inside the water while the man only has the courage to be a peeping Tom with his camera. However, Nancy is very aware of the photographer's presence 
presence and tells the man to come inside immediately, which causes David to take off his clothing like a true simpleton before face planting inside the pool. The man goes towards the woman right away while being hypnotized by her beauty, but when David tries to kiss the girl, he quickly gets attacked on his family jewels by a poisonous serpent, which causes him to faint inside the water and losing all his dignity at the same time. Luckily, the photographer is eventually discovered by his friend Huey, who quickly goes to rescue the unconscious man and manages to bring him back towards the others for help. However, upon examination, Sally tells the people that David has been poisoned by a very rare toxin, which can only be found inside a nearby cave, but the place is completely surrounded by vicious serpents. This gives the people no other choice but to go look for the antidote, while Sally promises to help them as well, and the group eventually head out towards the forest while being guided by the younger sister. What the people don't realize is that this was part of Nancy's plan from the very beginning, as she tells her servant to make sure that the travelers never returned. Very soon, the group eventually manages to travel through the jungle as they finally reach the entrance of the cave, but the people are horrified to see that the tunnel is nearly bottomless while numerous bats fly towards the humans' faces and causing them to cower in fear. However, the team has no choice but to prepare to venture inside while Sally explains to the main character about what really happened to her family. It's quickly revealed that their father gave them a massive egg when they were only children and the serpent eventually hatched in front of Nancy, which forever bonds the girl towards the animal, but her family was quickly outcasted by the villagers after their father chose to help the lone soldier and the man was beat to death for his betrayal towards his own people. The girls were eventually forced to watch their parent die in front of their eyes, which caused Nancy to grow resentful towards the outsiders as she blames the people for destroying her home. Very soon, the team begins to get ready to enter the cave as they start heading inside the dark tunnel, not realizing that Fang is here as well and planning to sabotage their mission. As the humans continue lowering themselves deeper towards the bottom, they quickly notice the elusive antidote and immediately begins trying to swing towards the plant. What the people don't realize is that Fang has quickly disabled their friend who's guarding the entrance and begins cutting the ropes continuously while causing the climbers to lose control of their footings. Luckily, before Fang can completely break off the ropes, he's quickly stopped by a flying knife that was thrown by the hooded man, which forces the villain to escape immediately. At the same time, Q eventually manages to grab onto the plant, but also breaking the rope and causing him to drop down alongside his friend, while they barely hang onto the people from above. However, the man quickly realized that they are dragging down the girls as well, which gives him no choice but to cut the rope and sacrificing himself in the process. Surprisingly, the people didn't fall very far, as they were already very close to the bottom. This causes the girls to rush over immediately towards their comrades, while Q shows the team that he's got the plan as well. What the people don't realize is that their friends back in the building has been ambushed by the enemy already while being taken hostage in the process. At the same time, the group continues venturing inside the cave as they try to find a way out from the tunnels, but soon manages to locate a bunch of writings on the walls, which indicates that a person has been living here for a very long time. Surprisingly, Tong is eventually able to find a silver necklace from his father as well, meaning that the man is probably still alive. The team continues moving forwards and eventually manages to locate the exit on top of a hill, but the people also notice a bunch of giant eggs lying on the ground. The people try to move carefully around the place, but Huey accidentally knocks over the egg and causing it to roll down while breaking into pieces. This causes a giant serpent to rush out immediately towards the people and chasing the humans furiously for entering its nest. Very soon, the team manages to make it out from the tunnels as they run desperately across the forest, while the giant monster has no intention of letting them escape. Realizing that they cannot run from the enemy forever, Q decides to split up with the girls to lure the enemy towards himself, but soon sees that the serpent is chasing after the women instead. This causes the man to rush back towards his friends immediately, while the girls are quickly cornered by the giant snake. Luckily, Q manages to arrive just in time, and is able to attract the monster's attention towards himself, while causing the serpent to begin chasing him furiously. The man continues sprinting as fast as he can, but is eventually knocked away by the vicious creature, as he barely avoids becoming the giant monster's lunch. However, despite Q's efforts, the people quickly run into each other once again, while they are all trapped together by the massive creature with nowhere to escape. Luckily, just before the humans are about to be killed by the flesh-eating monster, the mysterious hooded man jumps 
jumps on top of the serpent while seemingly controlling the creature at the same time. It's quickly revealed that the man is actually the captain from over 20 years ago, who's also the main character's father, as they both have the same necklace ever since the girl was born. This causes them to embrace each other in tears, while the father explains that he actually survived the serpent's attack from before, but only to realize that all his comrades have disappeared. Surprisingly, the man eventually managed to find a serpent's egg below the tree, which he was able to raise up as his own family. However, the people realize that their fight is not over yet as they must quickly go back to save their friends. At the same time, Gina is being held hostage by the enemy alongside the photographer, while Nancy continues humiliating the woman by striking her continuously. Luckily, Sally manages to arrive just in time as she takes her sister inside the building, while trying desperately to convince the woman to let the people go, but her words have fallen on deaf ears as Nancy is completely consumed by vengeance. However, this is quickly revealed to be a distraction as the journalists sneak towards their friends and begins untying them right away while giving the photographer the medicine, but they are soon discovered by their enemy as well. Things become even worse when Nancy comes out and begins playing her flute towards the people, which quickly summons the giant black snake while revealing that she was controlling the serpent this entire time. Luckily, the captain has arrived as well and quickly summons his brown serpent to protect the others, while the two giant snakes begin fighting furiously on the ground, but Nancy refuses to let the people leave so easily. The captain sees this and tells his friends to stay back, while Ben quickly charges forwards to attack the hooded man, but he's clearly no match for the captain as he gets knocked away with tremendous force. At the same time, Rina goes to attack Nancy and manages to knock her onto the ground and eventually begins chasing the woman through the field, but the enemy is able to hide amongst the hanging cloths while waiting for the right time to strike back. Luckily, Rina manages to counter the vicious woman and take away her knife before piercing the enemy and kicking her towards the ground. Meanwhile, the captain continues dominating the fight as he cuts the enemy multiple times while piercing the opponent on the chest, but Bang refuses to give up so easily and stabs the captain at the same time. This forces the hooded man to push away his opponent before throwing away his knife and killing the enemy in the process. However, this causes the captain to become severely injured as well, while the main character holds her father in her arms, but the man eventually passes away right in front of his own daughter. At the same time, the two giant serpents continue fighting furiously, while the brown snake manages to gain the advantage and begins running circles around the opponent, but the larger monster quickly throws the smaller reptile flying across the field. This allows the black serpent to strike immediately as it breaks the other snake's neck and roaring furiously in victory. Meanwhile, Rina is rushing towards Nancy to try and finish the kill, but is quickly approached by the massive monster instead. Sally sees this and runs forwards immediately to protect her friend, but the monster quickly knocks the mercenary away towards the walls. Luckily, Gina manages to grab onto a grenade while blowing up the bomb in the creature's face and completely distorting the serpent's vision as a result. This causes the monster to blindly attack the humans while Nancy tries to protect her sister, but only ends up getting devoured by the creature in the process. This allows the others to run away from the area immediately, but they are unable to escape the massive monster, who quickly traps the humans into a corner. Surprisingly, just before the people can be killed by the vicious animal, the grounds begin to shake violently, which causes the black serpent to run away for his life. It's quickly revealed that a much bigger serpent has risen from inside the water as it roars furiously towards the people and stunning them in absolute fear before returning back towards the ocean and disappearing away from the lands. Sometimes later, the team eventually manages to bury all their comrades, which includes the main character's father, before leaving this monster island and promising to always remember this unfortunate tragedy inside their hearts. So what do you guys think about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.